Look at this little guy. What's going on here with my hair? What is this? What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another historic brawl video. Today we are going to be jumping into Arcadus the Strategist, uh, a really interesting build for sure. But before we do that, if you are enjoying these, please make sure you subscribe. It really does mean a lot to us. Uh, subscriptions, likes, all that kind of stuff really does help us out. So if you're enjoying it, please feel free to support. We really would appreciate it. Uh, now, obviously, we've been trying out a little bit of historic brawl all week. I'll link the previous video. I always go to the other side up at the top uh, so if you would like to check that out you certainly can it was a really fun one uh, but Arcadus the strategist very interesting build because it's very heavily uh, using walls so obviously Arcadus is a very cool card but basically each creature you control with defender assigns combat damage to its toughness rather than its power and then can also attack as though it didn't have defender so what you are able to do is play all these little cheapo walls that all have defender and aren't really all that great but then play Arcadus and all of a sudden you've got a 4-4 four four for one mana that scries uh, and and different, you know, obviously tons of different little versions of that. But it's very, very powerful. There is the Tetsuko combo. So whenever you control uh, or creatures you control with power or toughness of one or less can't be blocked. And the idea is basically all of our creatures have zero uh, power, which means they're all unblockable. So you can really do some really crazy stuff. Lots of really good combos. Whenever a creature with defender enters the battlefield under your control, you draw a card. So a lot of uh, card draw within this uh, Teller of Tales does a very similar job. And then, of course, just tons of little walls, ramp, all kinds of fun stuff. We do have Towering Titan, again, as a really nice big kind of game-ending card, uh, if we can get that down uh, with a number of other things. But I'm not going to go through the entire deck. We are going to jump into a few games. We're going to save as much time as we can for the games. We're going to do 20 to 30 minutes, as we have been. Hopefully, we can get at least two, maybe three games in, but we will see. Let's go ahead and jump right in, guys. Oh, also, before we do, new Patreon rewards are out if you would like to pick those up please check out our patreon link down below you probably saw the ad at the beginning but i just thought i'd mention it here as well uh but yeah let's jump in guys all right guys here we are for game number one uh and i'm really excited to jump into this one i think this is going to be really really fun uh do we keep this hand i think we can it's not the best obviously um but we do have a nice little two drop with a three drop in the way of whatley i'm gonna try it it's not great but we'll see um also look at look look at this little guy what, what's going on here with my hair what is this it's flippy. I took a shower last night before I went to bed and that might have been a mistake. Anyway, all right, let's throw this out there. Mentor of the Meek is actually quite good. So whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield uh, under your control, you can pay an extra one. And if you do, you get to draw a card. That's actually pretty good for us. Uh, this is actually kind of helpful because we need a little bit of, uh, of ramp here. Unfortunately, that did not give us uh, a land. So hopefully we can get there. We'll see. Uh, looks like Rat Colony is the build here, uh, which is a little frustrating because that's definitely an annoying deck, um, but we'll see what we can do. All right, uh, what do we want to do? Uh, hmm. Let's see, let's see. Um, it's probably Mentor, uh, just because we are gonna need some card draw here. We do have to tap everything to do this though, which isn't exactly ideal, but this is a little bit more all in to hopefully give us a better better play next time. There's another Rat Colony. If you don't know how this works, a deck can have any number of Rat Colonies, so they just play a bunch of these and that's, that's the deck. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Um, we're not gonna block uh we really need land and we're still not getting it uh that's quite sad um all right uh what can we do i think we throw this down <clears throat> and when we do uh we'll just tap this and this 
auto pay. <laughs> uh, this is an unfortunate beginning. We're really just kind of getting very unlucky here. Um, I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully we don't die this turn, but there's a very real possibility that we do. I guess we should have gotten blue there, but we actually do need double green for the Grave Bramble as well. Maybe they're out of rat colonies. <laughs> nope, they're not. Just kidding. All right. Uh, yeah. So we just like kind of have to block these. And we take 12, which is really terrible. Now, next turn, we do have settled the wreckage. Wow, that's super not useful. Um, I think we just hold off and we settle the wreckage. I think that's really the only thing we can do. Um, exiling them is very, very good here because obviously that just means that they have less, um, they can pull back with Luris. So, I mean, if they just all in attack, we kind of get them. Yeah. I mean, they get a lot of land out of this, but they have one card left in their hands. So I'm not saying we definitely survived this by any means, but we might have gotten somewhere. Uh, we'll, of course, see once they uh, once they have their next turn. But I don't know. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we got this. We'll see. Uh, that's also enough that I could see rage quitting a little bit. Um, and they they may very well have. Um <clears throat> I'm curious. I'm very curious. I mean, they're still within a shot of easily winning this. We can Whatley uh, to, to gain some life here. Assigns combat damage. Okay, so that could be very useful. Um, so I think the play is going to be Whatley. Uh, gain three, which puts us up to six. Um, and then probably just block some stuff and hope that that's kind of enough. Uh, the good news is with with these little rat colonies, they don't actually, I mean, they deal a good substantial chunk of damage, don't get me wrong, but like they're easily killed is all I can say. Uh, and so, yeah, we just get to kind of kill two. Well, do we? Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to, I suppose. We're going to set them back as much as we can. Uh, we got to preserve our life total to the best of our ability. We do get to, you know, follow this up with some other plays. We are not getting land. <laughs> uh, that is a big problem. Um, all right, secret door doesn't do anything. So we just have to do this and then gain some life. That's all we can do. Uh, protection from zombies. None of these are zombies. They're not going to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I can't believe how unlucky we are getting with lands. Like, this is terrible. Uh, so deal for gain for, I do think we block it. We just have to stay in the game as long as we can. And hopefully, oh, golly, what is this? <laughs> we are getting so unlucky. Uh, we do just want to get a, a, a blue source here. Um, <laughs> we can't even double up on stuff here yet. Like that's the, that's the terrible spot with which we find ourselves. Um, we are out of life gain ability. They have more rat colonies. Um, we need like another sweeper, but I, I don't think we're going to get there guys. So we put up a good effort that settle the wreckage was super useful. We have to block here. Yeah, and next turn we're just dead unless we get very lucky, which we did not. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. Unfortunately, that is, I think, just a loss for us. God, that feels so bad. It feels really bad. All right, I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. We'll jump into the next game. All right, guys, here we are for our second game, uh, and hopefully we can do a little better. Um, this isn't a very good hand. We are against Krinko, uh, so having... Okay, that's not actually good. All right, so yeah, we're going to mulligan this. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, I think, a keep. It's not amazing, uh, but it does have plenty of ramp elements, so I think we definitely want to keep this. I'm going to play this out. Uh, this is going to allow uh, the Castle Ardenvale to come into play untapped, which is going to allow us to get some stuff down here. 
Uh, how do we want to do this just to make sure we're sequencing properly? I think it's just this. And then we get to play out the vine here. Uh, crucially, we don't really want to block this with the vine uh, because every time it does, they get a little 1-1. One -one. So we don't really want to power them up in that way. Interesting they didn't attack. Uh, they definitely could have. Oh, well. Uh, all right. Um, how do we want to do this? I think we want to get the clock down as quickly as we can. Long term, this is going to give us the uh, some benefit. If we can last that long, we'll see. Um, but that does provide us with a like a really good draw seven at some point. There's Krinko. Uh, that's the scary one. So we do need to find a way to kill that uh, if we can. We're obviously not going to block here. <laughs> Until we can kill it, we don't really want to do that. So. Um, all right, so if we do this, that ramps us, but then we're still able to play Arcadus, which I think we just need to do. So let's do this. Uh, and we're actually just going to pass. We're going to stay on the defensive as long as we need to, um, solely because they're going to get really, really aggressive. I wish we could race them, but truth be told, there's just no way that we're going to be able to do that. So uh, there's the Krinko getting a ton of little guys out here. That's so good. Um, okay. What do we do now? Um, so we can play Tetsuko. Uh, sort Not really super helpful. Um, I mean, we just have to like spread out as much as we can here, I think. Uh, that does help because we do draw cards. So let's keep going. Arcadis is so good. <laughs> um, Throw you out. It's going to draw us another card. And it's a land. Uh, land is good because we certainly need it. Um, and then I think the play is just going to be Cold Steel Heart. We kind of just want to be able to play as much as we can here. So I'll pick blue. That's fine. Um, I think no attacks, but this is the scary part because this is the turn we might just die um, between Hobgoblin and Krinko. Um, yeah, it's pretty scary. <clears throat> wow, okay, yeah, so they can activate this, create 10, uh, and under your control this turn to any target, so they're gonna deal 10, if not, well, 12 to any target, I assume, uh, which could just be us. They could actually just keep playing more stuff too. So if they've got like a haste goblin, we're in bad shape. <laughs> uh, there's no doubt about it. The goblin deck is pretty sick. Um, I've not actually faced a against a goblin deck yet. So this is a bit of a first for me, but I really like it. Arcadis is fun. Like when you get Arcadis going, like we saw last turn, we did kind of a lot. Um, yep, there we go. They've got the haste. Um, it's actually really sick, but uh, it is. So do we just die is my question. OK. Um, that, uh, that. I mean, we just block as many as we can, but I think we're just dead because then they can sacrifice with the Hobgoblin. So I think we're just dead. There's no doubt about it, I think, but that's fine. <laughs> so they sack, so three times eight is enough to kill us anyway, right? So yeah, we're just dead anyway. All right. Oh, they're just gonna pump them up. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, well, we died. I'm gonna go ahead and concede. That's two games. <laughs> Unfortunately, no wins, but uh, let's see if we can do, let, let's see if we can get a win. I think we can. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Still feeling positive. I think we can do something here. Uh, this is an interesting one. We will keep it because we do have a couple things we can just play off the face of it. Um, and there's a Cold Steel Heart as well, which is actually quite good for us. So let's go ahead, let's play the Secret Door. This is obviously the stronger defender between that and Resolute Watchdog. So I figure we can go ahead and get that one down do this and i'm going to play that cold steel heart we're going to pick green uh so that way we can cultivate on the upcoming turn uh and if we just don't have a basic land 
Okay, cool. Um, and we don't surprise. We've had a lot of mana issues this time. My goodness. Um, okay, so we definitely need a white source. Uh, I guess let's get a basic snow land. Um, yeah, and then I guess we'll get our hand doesn't really it doesn't seem to care at the very least what we have. So let's put this down because then we can play this and then play the resolute watchdog. Um, so that gets at least some stuff onto the field for us. Next turn, we can just play Arcadis and kind of get in there. Um, we have to discard a card. I think it's just this. I don't think that matters that much. I mean, it's a good card, don't get me wrong, but I think it's fine that we, we lose it. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get there with this one. Um, Arcadis does allow us to attack in um we can't follow it up with anything that's something to think about uh but i think we just go for it here um now we really can only attack in with the secret door i suppose <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that Ooh, i might have to sneeze Ooh, i'm gonna have to sneeze <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So they're going to put a one, uh, negative counter here. That's fine. I mean, it's not good for us, but that's fine. Then they just block here. Oh, they're just going to double up. OK, so then they can kill it. Sure. Well, that's fine. Um, we can, I guess, sacrifice this. I don't think we need to. <laughs> uh, that doesn't seem very good. We want to save that for Arcadis, I believe. <laughs> Ooh, all right, if Arcadis sticks around, though, uh, we should have a pretty up, pretty solid upcoming turn. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Very sniffy today. All right. Uh, I'd really love to get this down. This would do wonders for us. Um, so we sacrifice, give this indestructible. Cool, we did it. Now hopefully they can't do anything to Arcadis. Okay, cool, they can't, that's good. All right, nice. Uh, ooh, Skyclave Apparition. <laughs> that's interesting. It doesn't have Defender, so it actually doesn't trigger or proc the, uh, the Arcadis. Uh, but it would get some uh, like the blood artist off the field, but I actually think it's just I think it's just this. So that draws us a card, which is really important here because we still need to hit some lands. Um, <laughs> lands are not our friend, guys. Uh, we draw a card, lose two life. Give me a land. Still no land. Uh, goodness, we are like not doing so hot in that regard. All right, <clears throat> we do get to attack in here for free. I mean, there's no no harm in doing so since it does have vigilance, which is helpful. Uh, but we're just kind of getting, I think, very unlucky on lands. We've got a solid amount, so I don't see this being a major issue. But I don't know. Obviously, something's not going right. So <laughs> maybe that is it. Um, sure. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> I mean, well done. That's solid. Good plays. Ooh, persist. I forgot about the mechanic persist. What a cool mechanic. It's very good. Um, we do need to get this blood artist off the field here at some point, but that kills Arcadis. Uh, yes. Uh, they can, I mean, they can just keep sacking stuff and kill the battlements, too. I wish, oh, this does hit. Oh, my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Yeah, we should have hit the Yawgmoth. Um, hmm. I'm playing very well today. No, I'm not. Um, if we survive this turn, we can get Yawgmoth off the field. We should have done that last turn. That was really stupid. Uh, I was thinking this was three or less, uh, so I was just going to hit the Blood Artist with it, but it does hit the Yawgmoth. Mana value four or less. Things to note. Um, sure. 
So now they get an attack in here. I don't know why they're attacking with Blood Artists, but sure. <laughs> uh, we're gonna decline. All right, let's do this. Gonna make them repay for that Yawgmoth if they want it. Uh, they're obviously just gonna put it in their command zone. Uh, and then we'll just play the Grave Bramble. Nice thing is, uh, I guess when this dies, which it likely will now, um, they don't get anything with it. I guess. I assume that's how that works. We'll see. I think the trick is at what point do you just like say screw it and attack in with the deck that the opponent is playing? Enters the battlefield. Okay. Sure. Do they get the 4-4? Four, four? No, they don't. I didn't think so, because it didn't stay exiled under it, so I just wanted to make sure. Uh, we're going to decline. It's a land. Um, I really wish we could do multiple things this turn, and we just can't. Um, we need to start life gaining here. Uh, let's do this. I wish we could do multiple things this turn, and we just can't. Uh, we're not looking so good, guys. Not looking so good. But you know what? That's okay. We're we're having a fun time with this deck. I do really like Arcadus the Strategist. It's just a fun card. Uh, and so, I don't know. Why not have a little fun with it? You know what I mean? Let's just enjoy it. They have got a grip full of stuff. Uh, and here, they just have to sacrifice and ping us a lot. Yeah. So we have to discard a card. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know. OK, I'm going to concede. We are going to play one more quick one. We're going to see if we can win it, guys. So let's jump into that last game now. All right, guys, this will be our final game. So let's see if we can make this one worth it. Uh, this is Again, the land situation is very tricky. Um, I think we have to mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to take the mulligan. OK, this is better. This is definitely better. We'll easy keep this. Uh, let's do this. And we'll go ahead and fetch a blue source here. We've got the green. Yeah, I think it's blue. Uh, we'll get a snow cover. <laughs> So next turn, we can either play the 0-5 or play the Arcane Signet. There's a Llanowar Elf as well. Uh, I think it's the Arcane Signet. I think we're going to take a hit uh, from this, and that's just OK. We'll go ahead and play the 1-1. One, one. Uh, create a treasure token. Yeah, that's fine. What is this deck? Oh, it's Chatterfang. Oh, cool. Very nice. All right, I'm excited for this. Um, I think we just play it, right? Uh, let's see. We could secure this route, I suppose. Maybe that's a little better so we can double up next turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's be a little safe about it. Um, not that I'm expecting a huge like fumble by any means, but this gets more land onto the field. So next turn, we're like significantly ahead on the land portion. I mean, they have the treasure token, but uh, I think this is worth it. Uh, plus that many. Oh, I love that. I love Chatterfang. Such a cool card. Such a cool card. Okay. Uh, land is good. Let's do this. So we get to play this out. We then get to play this out, which is going to obviously draw a card for us, which is great. Uh, just a cold steel heart. That's fine. I guess we could have played, but that's fine. All right. No attacks, obviously. And I mean, now we've got a good setup. This is definitely the best position we've been in <laughs> uh, by a long way. But um, Chatterfang is very good. And they obviously could have plenty of removal here. So we just have to do the best we can to stay in it. I'm assuming they have removal. It's a black deck. I mean, come on. Um, but we have a good bit of mana out now. So I mean, at least we can do some stuff <laughs> as opposed to the first three games. Um, Bastion. Okay. Yeah, that's very good. 
Uh, Bastion is super, super solid, so that makes sense. Uh, create a treasure token, so they can just like activate, get more stuff. That's really cool. Yep. It says forest walk, by the way, so if we control a forest, they just get a free thing, which is why that worked. Um, let's make sure we do this. All right, we're going to do this first, see what we draw. A land. Uh, actually, not bad for us. Okay. Um, kind of want to just get Smothering Tide out. That seems really good. Let's do that. The earlier Smothering Tithe gets down, the easier it is to really make it work. So let's do this. Um, we do kind of have to race them at some point here, so some things to think about. Uh, do, do, do. I think we'll just play the Cold Steel Heart. Again, trying to ramp as much as possible here. Uh, we'll just go blue. It doesn't really matter um, at this point. So now we have basically all the mana we could ever ask for, which is what we really want here. This Bastion is something to think about. Target creature gets, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just attack in with both of these. If they wanna block the secret door, that's fine, but we at least get something off the field. We do take a hit to do it, um, as in a life drain, but I think that's okay. Now it's up to them if they want to pay to. They don't have a ton of mana, so I envision them not, and we already have a good bit of mana, so it's not really a problem either way for us. Uh, so I think that that's fine. Um, and now if they do kill Arcadis, we've got a way, we've got plenty of ways actually to replay. So uh, we'll see. I'm optimistic, I will say. Uh, Chatterfang is a deck, by the way, that I wouldn't mind testing out. In fact, I have a build of it that I was able to find um, that I'm very tempted to go ahead and play uh, either today or tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, lots to, uh, to try in this format. I do want to keep trying this format. I kind of want to stick with it for a while. All right, there's the, uh, the kill spell. That's fine. I do actually, I mean, I really want to to test more with this uh this format so we'll we'll see more of this on the channel uh assuming that's okay with you guys all right Ooh. oh how cool that's very cool um okay so you can just play arcadis play gleaming barrier i suppose um yeah <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. That draws us a card uh, and gets us a land. Nice. Um, sure, we're, we'll actually let's do this. Let's let's try this instead. All right. Um, and I'm happy to attack in here. This just keeps these tokens off the field as best we can. We're not going to plow through them, really. But the least we can do is prevent them from attacking in where they get a ton of damage off. Uh, it doesn't seem ideal to us, but we're going to try. Um, we actually want to keep this token around for them because this just keeps amassing onto itself versus uh, creating more squirrels. It's, it's not a two for one after the first one, uh, which is nice. All right. This is the most interesting game we have had, so I'm all too happy to have this. Oh, Toski is very good. Uh, thankfully, we take advantage of their draw at least a little bit um, with the this thing, or the, the Smothering Tithe. Cool. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, all right. First things first, let's do this. It's not super helpful. Um, we're gonna get Chatterfang out of here. Um, obviously that's just gonna go there, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Um, we want you for sure. Uh, do do do. Have any other tech lands? It might just be Field of Ruin. 
Oh, it might just be access tunnel, actually. Yeah, let's do that. It does trigger the field of ruin, which is kind of nice. Um, we'll go ahead and activate or uh, throw the birth of Miletus out as well. Just because why not? <laughs> uh, truth be told. Um, yeah, cool. And we get to play that, which again, activates field of ruin. They do have an indestructible blocker here, but uh, this is at least a fairly strong attack. And if they spend the majority of their next turn just playing Chatterfang, then that's fine. Sorry guys, phone was going off there. Um, we do have to keep our life total in mind though here because this is kind of a scary place to be. Uh, we're only at 10. I mean, that's not, that's not super high. Oh, I'm curious to see how this goes. At least this can't attack this turn. That's helpful. <laughs> um, we're also going to get a 0 for... Enters the battlefield. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to block it there. There's no reason not to. Oh, that's such a good card. Um... Oh my gosh, it's such a good card. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's do this. So this draws us a card, then we can put a land onto the field if we've got it. We didn't, but that's a very good card. <clears throat> um, do we just play it? I just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing here. Um, I mean, I think we do. And again, if we get a land off the top, we just get to play it. We didn't, but that's fine. Um, that's a 39-39. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> let's do this. Do we just attack with basically everything, um, is my question. Like we could attack like this. They're gonna ping us for a decent amount by doing so. Hmm. I mean, we could attack with these little zombies and stuff, but that doesn't feel that helpful. I'm gonna do this. Um, yeah. So they can obviously block and that's perfectly fine. It's gonna trigger some stuff here. Hmm. Yep. What could they have for one block? This is so fascinating. This is a good game. <clears throat> Way better than the other ones. Um, so we're going to take three. Obviously resolve those. Can't do anything. So next turn, we do have essentially the win um, where we can sacrifice a creature with defender and everything gains trample. So theoretically, we could potentially either draw this or win it, uh, depending on how this goes, but we'll see. OK. Uh, we can also draw a card off the, the Tome of Legends here, which we need to do. That is a weird game. This is a good game. Uh, very, very good game. So Chatterfang's going to get in here regardless. They can sacrifice so many squirrels if they would like. That's three. Oh, and then they just win, don't they? So they just win. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, wait a second. Uh, did I miss something? Why did they sacrifice? Okay, that was an oops. Uh, okay. We almost just lost. <laughs> we didn't lose, surprisingly. Um, that was interesting. So they've all... And they rage quit. Yes, we got a win. <laughs> we should not have won that game. How did we... Anyway, let's chat about this.
All right, so not the best showing in the world. Out of four games, we did only get one win. A lot of mana issues with this one, um, and I think just a lot of better decks. I mean, truth be told, Arcadus is a very fun list where you get to play with a lot of defender stuff, which are, are cards you just don't normally see because they're usually not very good. Um, but it's kind of fun to see him played, and this is a classic, like, fun time style deck where you're just having a good time and enjoying it, uh, and I did. I had a really good time. I did not like the mana issue. I don't know how we had so many mana issues. Maybe we don't have enough lands. Um, but again, just a pulled list. It was just a place to start. And so I'm OK. It, it was it was a fun time regardless. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is an interesting list. I do suggest um, if you're looking for just kind of a fun build, this is a this is a good one to start with. Uh, it's very niche. So if you're not into defenders and walls and that kind of stuff, I get it. But it is still really fun. So regardless, thank you guys so much. I really Really do appreciate you all watching again please feel free to subscribe if you would like be great to have you and uh until next time guys i'll see you later have a fantastic Thursday.